Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to estimate soil erosion using the revised Universal Soil Loss Equation, or RUSL, right inside Google Earth Engine. We'll walk through the entire process from defining your study area and input data to calculating each RUSL factor, mapping soil loss, classifying erosion severity, and finally visualizing the results with charts and legends. So let's dive right in. Introduction to RUSL. RUSL estimates soil loss using five factors, RK, LS, C, and P. R is rainfall erosivity, which measures the impact of rainfall intensity. K is soil erodibility, derived from soil texture data. LS represents slope length and steepness, calculated from a DEM. C is the cover management factor, which we get from vegetation indices like NDVI. P is the support practice factor, based on land use and slope. We multiply all these factors together to estimate the average annual soil loss in tons per hectare per year. First, we define our input data sets. For soil texture, we use Open Land Maps USDA soil texture classes. For elevation, we use the SRTMDM. Land cover data comes from MODIS. Our study area is defined from hydro sheds basin boundaries, filtered to the specific basin ID we want to analyze. We add this area of interest, AOI, to the map so we can focus our analysis. Next, we calculate the R factor or rainfall erosivity. Here, we use mean annual precipitation and average maximum 24 hour rainfall from local or literature data. These values are plugged into the R factor equation based on the RUSL model. We create a constant raster image with a computed R value and add it to the map. Calculating K factor. The K factor represents soil erodibility. Using the soil texture map, we assign K values based on USDA soil texture classes. Clay soils have low K values, while sandy or loamy soils have higher erodibility. This factor is clipped to our AOI and added as a layer. Calculating LS factor. LS accounts for slope length and steepness, derived from the DEM. We calculate slope from elevation data, convert slope degrees to percent slope, then apply the Russell LS formula. The LS factor layer is clipped and visualized. Calculating C factor. The C factor reflects vegetation cover and land management. We use median MODIS NDVI data over the year to represent vegetation vigor, applying the formula to translate NDVI into C factor values. Dense vegetation reduces erosion risk, so it lowers the C factor. Calculating P factor. The P factor models support practices like contour farming or terracing based on land use and slope. We use the MODIS land cover map and slope data to assign P values, where forests and wetlands have low P and urban or barren lands have high P. Cropland P values are adjusted according to slope ranges to reflect erosion control effectiveness. Computing soil loss and classification. Now we multiply all factors R, K, L, S, C, and P to get the estimated soil loss per pixel. We add this soil loss layer to the map with a color palette indicating erosion severity. We also classify soil loss into five classes, slight, moderate, 
high, very high, and severe erosion and display this classification as a visible layer. Charting and area calculations. To better understand the spatial distribution, we calculate the total area in hectares for each erosion class within the AOI. We generate a pie chart to visualize the percentage area affected by each soil loss class. Finally, we compute the mean soil loss value for the whole study area and print it in the console. We also add a legend panel on the map to explain the color coding of soil loss classes for easier interpretation. That's it for this Ruzzel Soil Erosion Estimation Tutorial in Google Earth Engine. If you want to apply this workflow to your own region, just update the input data paths and AOI as needed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials on geospatial analysis, remote sensing, and Google Earth Engine. Also, comment below if you want me to cover specific topics or if you have questions about this soil erosion model.